Hey, what is up everybody, Blades for here. Today I have for you guys another video of Black Clover Mobile. Inside today's video, guys, we're actually not doing a little bit of PvP today. We're actually going to be talking about Hatred Fauna. Now, the main reason I'm going to be talking about this character is because this character, I'm not going to lie, does shake up some things inside of PvP, as well as a little bit in PvE, just to be it. But um, for the most part, it's going to be kind of interesting because this character, quite honestly, was one of the few characters that I was kind of interested to especially when it comes into whether I should invest or whether I should just go ahead and skip, depending on what's going to be happening. So we're going to be going over exactly what she does, how I would feel if you guys want to skip, how you would uh, go about either pulling on her and pretty just my two cents. But at the end of the day, it is going to be your choice. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, I do have Pridewind's website open as well, but of course, she's already in the glossary. So you guys can actually go ahead and check that out. She's one of the few mages that are down here, just chilling here. And which this character overall, first of all, let's just say this. She cool as a mug. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, that is a giant goddamn salamander you're on that turned to a whole dang dragon. I'm sorry, that is awesome. One, but two, this character has a lot to boot. I'm not even gonna lie. She actually has a ton of things that can make her stupid overpowered. And it's just honestly a very scary duo, especially when you want to actually play with this character alone here. So first these first, let's go over her skill one. So her skill one being here is called a harp. Pretty much what she ends up doing is throwing out this little harp here in which actually allows her to imply one instance of hatred. Now, hatred is in a very interesting, I want to say way here because you guys can see it on the side. Pretty much when using a special skill, she pretty much performs, I want to say an extra attack of some sort, which in, is doing increased damage based on the number of hatred stacks that she has now hatred can be stacked up to five times here in which i'll be honest with you this mainly becomes even more of an issue when you find out about her main dupes we'll get to that in a little bit here but then she has her skill too called pincer movement here which pretty much using her salamander here she's able to hit you with some flames immediately this is a AOE skill here, so surely do understand this as well. Or at least I think it was a um, AOE if I'm right. Let me check again on the skill two uh, little button here. Actually, it might be a single target that I'm looking at, that I'm looking at because it is on a enemy as well. In which with this here, you're able to imply two instances of hatred to yourself here while also inflicting a burn. Now, I'll straight up be honest with you. This is when pretty much burn team, if I remember right, is pretty dang decent here burn team starts to come back and it actually is kind of scary to see what type of combinations you can really come up with especially with this character alone here she kind of flips a lot of things upside down and i would love to see exactly how it turns out for global because around this time i think this is legitimately where i just stopped playing jp and i never really got to experience exactly what she could do especially in the meta here so I am very, very interested to see how this will end up turning out here. But she pretty much has this as well, which is very, very nice as well. But with her card, of course, she actually can apply a taunt that has a 60% chance. You guys can see this on the screen because I do have probably one over here on the right to actually um, tell me exactly what that is. But with her card here, she's able to actually have a 60% chance taunt as well to at least taunt an enemy, which is actually really, really nice as well. Now, alongside this, of course, we have her ultimate here, which is where a lot of people really start to hate a lot of things here. It inflicts barrier removal. And let's be honest, a lot of us already know barriers were really, really common, especially in this game. I think a lot more of us are prepared and already have stopped using a lot of barriers currently, but barriers can still be an issue. Pretty much she removes your barrier immediately here. And if hatred is not present on herself here, she's able to deal 30% attack and magic attack as extra damage. Now, if it is present, this is where things get a little bit nuky. Okay, just straight up nukes because this character is actually terrifying, especially seeing that what hatred actually can do for a person. Well, let's say you have one instance. Well, instead of getting that 30% up there, since it's not um, present, with that one instance that is 50 percent well you got two instances 70 ranging all the way up to 180 for five instances of hatred now once again guys hatred itself 
is based it's like using the special skill pretty much you're increasing your damage based on this right increasing your damage based on this well you just increased your damage times five and now that's 180 percent of attack and magic attack that you could possibly have on this character it is absolutely destructive this character i've seen some do some crazy crazy nuking and you, you know i've never done it but i'm not gonna lie to you this is one of the few reasons why i'm kind of interested on pulling on this character and which i might be half and half i just have to see how the meta really does go but um not gonna lie she's freaking crazy she's actually insane i might just cop me just like a one anyways just to freaking have it but um when it comes down to her combined attack, it's nothing special. She can do, of course, a taunt, which is pretty nice. Having a taunt on your team is always nice here, but nothing too crazy. Now, the things that are very, very interesting. Now, once again, I did say there is her unique passive and her regular passive that are stupid, stupid crazy. So going off of her regular passive here, this one pretty much, if all allies have a sense attribute, she will grant you status element to all allies for one turn. Now, this is actually pretty decent because they can't be stunned anything and things like that, which is really, really nice. And then, of course, if you pair that with debuff immunity um, being like one of your skills here for blocking damage, you can really be an all around just safe bet. So this is pretty decent, especially to have a full sense team in which I'm going to be honest with you, right? If you use a sense team, that new shard better be on the dang team because it's absolutely crazy to actually have them two on the same team. Being that you're going to be able to protect yourself, get your buffs that you need here, and rush your ultimates, which is going to be crazy important when it comes to this here. Now, the one that's really scary is going to be her actual passive that you get from leveling her up with enhancements or either dupes here. So just to have the first dupe immediately here, when she is LR2, if Hatred stacks up to five times, her own HP is set to 1% of her max HP, grants immortality for a turn and then at the end of the wave she grants 50 percent of her max hp as recovery now that's nice and all right now for her second one if she stacks up to five times here not only is she granted immortality for that turn but at the end of the wave she has 50 percent of her hp recovery and is afflicted with a taunt or enhanced taunt which grants herself 50 percent reduced damage for one turn Pretty much, just just put it like this. She gets those five hatred stacks. Not only is she now immortal and you can't do a thing about it, but now guess what? You are taunted and she can't take any damage. So um, she becomes not only a nuker, but also a person who's legitimately the most annoying thing on earth for a whole freaking round. So um, I gotta admit, this character is gonna be freaking crazy. It's gonna be insane to see how she's gonna work out. I never really got the chance to use her, so I'm I'm really bent on actually going ahead and going for her. But um, it kind of is a very interesting way. Now, if you have this character at 60 here with just the clovers immediately, you can see at least the CC gain, of course. Now, of course, if you're getting this character to at least LR 80, she's at 22K, which actually isn't bad for her base stats, especially looking at what we got here. You can tell that you're gonna have to build a little bit of crit rate on this character, of course. And then I would definitely advise trying to get up a little bit of accuracy as well, because we have a lot of people who are going to be using crit res here. So having your crit rate a little bit higher in accuracy is going to be pretty nice while also getting a huge nuking amount of crit damage. Now, this is a magic attacker, so you will be going dead into magic attack for the most part here. And that's going to be what you want. Now, if she's level 100, her stats do get a little bit of a buff, of course, and that's going to be things awesome as well. Now for getting her to enhancement too, you do get a little bit of a buff on your magic attack and your defense. So that's kind of nice. Getting her all the way up to enhancement four, you get yourself that crit rate that you really do want to get. And then enhancement five, you get you some more crit rate while also buffing your magic attack and defense. So surely do get that into play. Pretty much enhancement four is where things are going to get a little bit nicer because you're getting that nice 3%. And then, of course, if you get the five, you get a little bit more as well to give you that extra edge when it comes down to the crit rate percentages. Now, overall, when it comes to this character, do you do I think you should summon or do I think you should skip? I will personally say I feel like this is a skip. We do know a lot of things that are going to be coming unless you are a well pretty much do a skip. OK, right now I'm saving up some tickets. I'm pretty much turning all my gems into tickets at this current moment here. And um, I got to admit, right 
it is best to just save up it's best to just go ahead save up use your tickets when it comes to mary leona she will be in the general character pool later on um so yeah you might have to take a little bit of an l of using her early on right now but it might be better for you to go ahead and just wait here seeing that she is a general character pool character and seeing that we do have another clover fest coming up so surely do take that into account but once again I'm not your mom I'm not your dad so of course you do what you want at the end of the day but i say skip it you guys can tell me what you think down below in the comment section till then everybody hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button and then stay safe stay sharp and stay determined peace out